Hidden just off a country road in Wisconsin lies a decrepit facility that makes a business out of torturing and killing small animals for the fur trade. If those mink are stained and dirty, I'm losing $10, $20 a mink on that. A PETA eyewitness spent two months documenting the living hell that the animals there endure before being skinned to make a fur coat or collar. Inside the rows of filthy, wire-floored cages were around 100 foxes and 2,500 minks, including this gentle mink named Miss Mary by the eyewitness. Cages were sprayed with a pressure washer while minks were still inside them. Miss Mary was so distressed by the noise of the washer that she chewed a hole through the metal bars of the cage, causing her mouth to bleed. Miss Mary was not the only mink traumatized by the noise and vibration of the pressure washer. Other minks frantically circled and paced while the machine was on. The cages often had over a foot of feces piled up underneath them. Minks were frequently found dead. foxes at the facility fared no better. This elderly male fox, named D2 by the eyewitness, suffered from swollen gums. The farmer said that he had kept D2 for years, and he bragged about masturbating him so that he could breed more foxes. Just put him in a box and grab him by the pecker and jerk him a couple times and then they squirt it into a shot glass. I jacked him. Okay, I got you. I, I do that. Uh-huh. Uh, I'm one of, there's only seven of us in the whole world that can do that. D2 was killed in a makeshift gas chamber along with other foxes. Boy, he put a hell of a fight. Workers crammed dozens of minks into this metal drum at one time and pumped it full of dirty gas from a running engine, crudely suffocating them in mass. The farmer broke the neck of one mink who had survived the gassing. Another mink survived for 20 minutes before finally dying. Yeah, he's moving around, kicking around, like hiding underneath carcasses for air. Screaming, terrified animals struggled until the very end. Right now, all around the world, animals like D2 and Miss Mary are being killed just because they were born with a fur coat. Will you join us in standing up for them? Please, pledge never to buy fur and ask your family and friends to do the same. Never be silent. Thank you.